Jumping. All those hoops. Jumping. Hoops. Jumping. Hoops. All those hoops. You are jumping. You are hoops. You are jumping. You are hoops. You are all those you are hoops. You, you are you are jumping. All those hoops. You are jumping. 
Conference we were massive, powerful kingdoms. Kingdoms with well established religious and educational systems. Kingdoms that preceded the Greek civilization, the Roman Empire. If the truth be told, civilization began in Africa. Have you ever wondered why? When they talk about Greek philosophers, the mathematicians, they were sent to Egypt for training, to Egypt for advancement. It's because Africa already had it. The pyramids. The Zimbabwe ruins, they were there over 2,500 years before the Greek civilization, 2,500 years before the Roman Empire. It all started in Africa. That is part of the history that was cut out, and they set out to get us to forget that life as we know it began in Africa. Civilization as we know it began in Africa. The Europeans stole it from us. The forest is within us. We are molded from earth black. Matter matters. We are raw star stuff. Me or star dust. Love is of us. You, I, we are made of many parts of one. These my lips. These my tits. This some epic.
Davis means power to the black people. We learned that from the Black Panther Party circa 1966. To be black and resist is to have a black wish. Big black sky holds light bright stars and be the first time a black thing was the foundation for white shining. Black and white television, black and white photographs, blackness be the absence of all light, but yet we woke up like this. Black lips, black nose, black hair, black cheekbones, black girl wrapped tight in her black skin. Praying she don't give birth to black children who know what it feel like to be still in black holes and deep beneath our feet. Getting eaten by black leech, getting eaten like mama called you and all your black cousins to the kitchen to come get you a black feast. Black girl grows up to realize she was whole all along despite being shot at by a black piece. Black woman was being shot at all along by black police until they called it suicide. Called it attack on black bodies. Called it black on black violence. But yes, we've not heard one distraction here except white noise. But black bullets black and loaded somewhere beat a mass murderer's white toy. So, he walked up in the space and we all at the function, fresh to death, arrived on CP time, but we look good though. And in this moment, I remembered why black folk take so long to get ready and always show up late. It's because if we die today, this will be our ghost outfit forever. So you gonna wait.
the first free black communities in New York is Seneca Village. In 1855, when the city starts thinking about a public space that will be called Central Park, um, they decide that Seneca Village has no value and said we would have more value if we became a 
public space, and we will call that public space Central Park. Of course, it really had nothing to do with that community or upholding what that community stood for. You know, it was about 800 acres of land, and while it was not um, the first example of the use of eminent domain, it was certainly a prominent example. But it is certain that, you know, the creation of the park did really disrupt the development of what was one of um, the city's most important African-American communities. Within 30 years, Seneca Village is basically established, thrives, and um, evaporates completely. A big pool in the path where you could bike and pedal, catch fish by the lake, but none that you could bake. Matter of fact, my law shit, there's none that you could take. What you know about heading up Bradhurst, redneck DTs all up in your red vest. But we live it up, Harlem sure do give it up. Spirit uptown, profound, never giving up. A lifetime, and now's the right time. Extend that pipeline, lifeline, and a lifetime. Yeah, I can't lie, kind of like another tribe. But smize and say hi, surprise, they're nice guys. If I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. <laughs>
cash money records taking over for the 99 and the 2000. I want the African Americans to know that Africa is home. That what is going on in Africa is your problems and you must get involved. Until you reconnect with your anchor, which is Africa, you'll always be like a palm tree. When the wind blows this way, here we go. When the wind blows that way, here we go. Africa is home. Accept it. It is who you are. Mm. Your DNA is the DNA of an African. Your DNA is the DNA of originality. You are the origin mm. of humanity. And Africa is home. Reconnect. This is the little known story of Queen Nanaya, Queen Nanaya, Queen Nanaya, Queen Nanaya, Queen Nanaya. Our African warrior queen. What's a bad bitch to a queen? Like really though, what's a vitamin to a thalamus and a spleen? She back like in tumors. My plan is spread this truth, prove it faster than the rumors. Dwell more spaces than a tumor. Balloon up, swim across the seas like a tuna. Yazi on the track, seeking faster than the puma, doing zuma. And I gotta be candid. Up until I landed, I thought High Life was something Snoop Dogg branded. And we would hear music, I, I, but I remember High Life music around us. It. But he must have planned it. Thought I was abandoned, but he was just raising my standards. Your girl stuck with Joe Loaf and Martha Guinness. It's real tough going through life without a dish so delicious. <laughs>